So welcome to this video on 2009 question A1. So the 3D graphic shows a beam of light shining across the tabletop generating a hyperbolic curve. The drawing on the right shows the axis directrix and focus of such a hyperbola. The eccentricity of the curve is 1 is to 2. So PF over PD equals 1 over 1 is 1.2 and that as a fraction is 6 over 5. So that's very important, okay? And PF over PD is like the rise over the run, slope of a line, rise over the run. Locate the vertex and draw the portion of the curve. So uh, the line of eccentricity is going to rise six units and run five units. So I'm going to measure out, okay, from the directrix, okay, 50 millimeters, so that's the run of the line and I'm going to measure up 60 millimeters okay from the uh, axis and that's the rise of the line I'm going to draw a light line up I'm going to draw a light line across and I'm going to join that back to the origin so that's the line of eccentricity. So basically, look, any point on the curve, any point on the curve here, the distance to the focus will be six units, and the distance to its directrix will be five units. Okay, that's for any point on the curve. Now, locate the vertex. So from F, I'm going to draw a vertical line up. It's called the lattice rect rectum. Um, and then from our focus here I'm going to go at 45 degrees back and where it hits the line of eccentricity I'm going to drop down until it hits the major axis okay and that's the vertex right that's a method common to all comics to find the vertex you locate the line of eccentricity now draw a portion of the curve right so I'm going to draw lines okay call ordinates at any random distance through what you call it um, through the major axis they don't have to be any particular distance okay so as far as there now I'm just going to highlight this vertical line running through F okay with a bit of color probably too thick there with my color and pencil but however so that's the lattice rectum now where each of the lines hit the line of eccentricity so each of the ordinates hit the line of eccentricity this is the line of eccentricity we're going to go parallel to the major axis back until they hit the lattice rectum so parallel to the major axis back until they hit the lattice rectum so same here now from that point we're going to take our compass and we're going to put our compass on F and we're going to bring the nib until where the orange meets the pink and we're going to swing it to the line that it originated from so top and bottom now to the next one look I'm going to extend my compass on until where the orange meets the pink and I'm going to swing it back where to the line it originated from next one look compass to where the orange meets the pink on the line of eccentricity and I'll swing it back to the ordinate it originated from next one then again now same for the smaller one here and you can swing your top and bottom now where a point on the lattice rectum okay where the lattice rectum intersects the line of eccentricity is a point on the curve okay now I'm going to freehand sketch those in So 
so there's a curve sketched in now I'm just going to pause that and fix it as I probably docked myself a mark there for that curve so the next one is determine the center of curvature for a point on the curve which is located vertically above the focus So this one here so look these are hard to learn for students so at point P we're going to draw a line perpendicular to the tangent aka the line of eccentricity okay now so this is the normal where the normal appears as the major axis we're going to draw a line uh, parallel to the tangent now we extend p to f the lattice rectum basically and then from the line p to f so basically the lattice rectum we're going to go perpendicular to that and where it intersects the normal that's c for the center of curvature okay so look this is the context if you get your circle there it pierces okay or it touches the ta uh, hyperbolic curve at only p so it does only p all right uh, so just touching p there as it goes on okay it's it's not about going out there to the left it's just as inside the curve right you don't have to draw the arc by the way right cheers thank you bye bye